this is really creepy. <laughs> Disney is creating a new residential gated off community that people can live in called story living. And there's no doubt about it. These are going to be million dollar houses, like multi-million dollar houses, right? And there is a 55 plus section for, f for people 55 and older. Now, I'm not judging people that like Disney, but Disney's main goal, maybe not their main, but one of the big things that they strive for is appeal. If you look at, they try to get their fingers in every pie that they can. I mean, look at, look at their movies. They try to touch every culture. Uh, Encanto, you know, the Latino culture. Uh, Moana, they try to, the Polynesian culture. They always try to appeal to as many people as they can. But this is edging on dystopian. This gated off community where everything will be Disney, the houses will be Disney, the streets will be Disney, the restaurants will be Disney, the hotels will be Disney, the resorts, it's all Disney. And it's a gated off community. It's just a bit creepy. I mean, I get like a Truman show, if you've ever seen the Truman Show starring Jim Carrey, great movie. It gives me that kind of vibe, like a very secluded, fake portrayal of life. And what if a kid is born there, which they are bound to be? Are they just going to be raised from childhood that Disney is life, basically? Everything around them will be Goofy, and everything around them will be Mickey, and everything around them will be Donald Duck, you know? Everything is Disney for these kids, and that's so dangerous. And I think one of the main reasons this is dystopian and got a lot of people a little concerned is where does it stop does it stop at disney or does apple buy another gated community down the street and what, what if there's a gang what if there's a gang war between like hey where are you from bro <laughs> you from the you from disney street or you from apple street like there is a dystopian component to this story living by disney and yeah, it's got a lot of people weirded out. Why? A and it's been in the works, maybe not story living, but the whole idea has been in the works for decades. Walt Disney was a genius in terms of his corporatization or his visions for business, I suppose. But he always wanted, I, I believe he wanted to create a whole city. But this is a neighborhood. And they're just going to churn out your money. Everything will go back to Disney. Are they going to be Disney cars? Are they going to ban <laughs> like like Amazon Prime or Netflix or any other thing that isn't within Disney's empire? I just think it's quite concerning that these play this is just a hive mind and it's probably going to take all your data and use it and every piece of money that you spend in this community goes back into Disney's pockets. And, I mean, look at what the, they, they own Fox, they own Marvel, they own the George Lucas Company, like the Star Wars. What What's going to stop them buying anything else? They own so many things that I think we need to be aware of these conglomerate-based communities. Are we going, in, in, in 50 years, 10 years, 20 years from now, is there going to be an Apple neighborhood? Is there going to be an Amazon neighborhood? Is there going to be a blank neighborhood? You know, wh whatever else. It's just a bit strange. <laughs> and you got the whole, like, what? stay at our community, what? We'll take all your money, what? <laughs> it's just... I think Disney is quite cursed. And I think... This is such an unsettling concept that the con I think the control is just a bit... A and you can't be happy. Like, who made Disney the authority on happiness? Like, who says Disneyland, Disney World, I don't even know the saying, happiest place on earth? Who made them the ha the, the best, the, the most? And, like, if you, if you are sad, are you going to get kicked out? <laughs> like, I just... I think nothing good comes from this, and I think it is purely to make money. And I think people need to be aware of how prominent Disney is. And 
where they should maybe not go. But I don't know. Some YouTuber will probably do some documentary on this place. And maybe it's backed by Disney and they say how great it is. But yeah, I just think it's really strange, eh? So let me know what you guys think. I think this is very bordering on dystopian of this conglomerate owning a community that people can live in. And it's just, I don't know, it rubs me the wrong way. But that's basically it. See ya.